My name is Mena Zahra. I am a global health student at York University, and I specialize in health promotion and disease prevention. For my practicum, I went to Belize. I stayed in Punta Gorda, and I did it at Hillside International Healthcare Clinic. So I chose Belize because Belize was really unique because they speak English primarily. It's an interdisciplinary clinic. So they work with pharmacists, with doctors, and with personal trainers and some health instructors, and there's a public health team there. So it was an amazing, well-rounded experience, and I got really intrigued by it. So during my practicum, we got the opportunity to shadow each discipline within the clinic. I also worked really closely with the public health team, and we got to work on sexual and reproductive health initiatives. We went in field and talked to community health workers. But my primary project was with high school students on sexual and reproductive health. Our main role in, for the sexual and reproductive health was kind of assessing the needs of the student. We started off by doing a needs analysis and a survey. Uh, we were mainly public health educators, I would say. We would go in, discuss with the teachers, do kind of a needs analysis. Once we identified the areas that were lacking with the adolescents, we felt really connected to the community over time. I think I gained a lot of collaboration skills and patience and uh, importance of building relationships there because there's a lot of cultural differences that you need to kind of keep in mind and have an open mind when you're going in these areas, understanding their struggles. So that just gave me so much more insight and more drive, I would say. There were actually a lot of unexpected challenges when we were there. Part of it was understanding like what could happen if there's any disruptions or when the change did happen because it really was a really small public health team that was working together. But I think the program allows you to have an open mind. It also teaches you a lot more about social determinants of health and the different barriers that people can face depending on their geographic location and their socioeconomic status. Interacting with the people in Belize was so interesting and intriguing. We kind of like had this bias of being like, oh man, like I feel really sad that, you know, they don't have that this healthcare facility or they don't have this access to services that they needed, especially with people with disabilities. But then you actually speak to them and they're really happy and content with their life. They really have such positive attitude. They taught me a lot. A lot of things I think in influenced what I wanted to do next. It made me more ambitious to continue studying and going back to school, which I think was kind of maybe left my mind before, but now I'm finally like starting to do some research on master's programs or post-grad programs I could do. So it definitely pushed me in the best way possible to strive for more. The first thing I would tell them is do it. No hesitation, knowing that all the education you got during your undergrad, actually like it was all leading up to that. So I would 100% recommend it. I'm so grateful I went. If I hadn't gotten the push, maybe I wouldn't have gone. So I'm really grateful and I would tell them do it for sure. So I would mainly say time is of the essence. I would want to go into it with a positive attitude and you know take this opportunity it's in front of you right now and there's so many supports at York that'll help you get to where you want to go just make sure you're being clear and communicating with your practicum organizer and you'll get exactly what you want if not more